hey guys hydrogen bonding is responsible for so much it's basically responsible it's probably a bit of a stretch here responsible for life on earth yes i know that's quite a big jump that i've just made there um but it's really really important and it's really really important you understand how it works and how it works properly Over here in the top right of the periodic table, we have our massively electronegative elements. Which means our traditional way of drawing the structures is actually really false and misleading. Instead of the sharing of electrons, the bonds, being equally in between the model, the more electronegative element is going to steal all of the electrons over to one side. So the hydrogen, in this example, poured hydrogen, isn't really going to get a look in this electron. Even though the electron that is donated to fluorine and this electron that fluorine's donated hydrogen is theoretically possible in any space around there, because fluorine is so electronegative, Electronegative is basically going to keep the electron for itself. So our electron cloud, instead of being a nice even shape equally around the hydrogen and the fluorine, is going to be very negative, very small around the hydrogen and then massive around the fluorine because that is where the electron is going to spend the majority of the time. And this leads to a dipole being set up where this end is negative and this end is positive. Hydrogen bonding will only occur when hydrogen is bonded to either oxygen, nitrogen or fluorine because these ones are so electronegative that poor old little hydrogen barely gets looking on the electron. The electron cloud is so centred around either the oxygen, the nitrogen or the fluorine that this dipole is going to be set up so that the hydrogen is going to be electron deficient and it is going to be a permanent electron deficiency around here. So the hydrogen bond is a strong permanent dipole. And it's a strong permanent dipole that only occurs when hydrogen is bonded to oxygen, hydrogen is bonded to nitrogen, or hydrogen is bonded to fluorine. A hydrogen bond is drawn as a dotted line between something that is positive and something that is negative. Because hydrogens are so electron deficient in this situation, they are going to be very, very strongly attracted to any lone pairs, especially the lone pairs on oxygen, nitrogen or fluorine. For hydrogen bonding to be present, the hydrogen has to be bonded to either an oxygen, a fluorine or a nitrogen. Common elements that this occurs in are going to be alcohols, where we have our hydrogen bonded to an oxygen, and our amino acids, where our nitrogen is bonded to a hydrogen. <laughs> 